Well, pull out your shield and your sword. It's the good guys against the good guys after a disagreement turns into a power struggle. Movie reviewer Matt Perrone explains if it's worth the fight. Welcome to another Monday. The Mother's Day weekend saw a resurgence for the movie Mother's Day, but when you're up against a juggernaut of a film, there's nothing you can do but just sit back and watch. That's right, a new highly anticipated Marvel movie was released this weekend, and it was just absolutely killing it at the box office. The Avengers are split into two teams, and whether you're for Team Captain America or Team Iron Man, you better buckle up, because here's my take on Captain America Civil War. Our movie begins with a group of Avengers trying to take down a former agent of HYDRA dealt with in previous films. As the team do their best to get their man, the new theme of superhero movies emerges and collateral damage is sustained. The government and world leaders decide that they need to put a harness on the Avengers and draw up an accord meant to supervise the group. The team is divided on whether or not to sign off on this, with half of them believing they need to be put in check and Captain America leading the charge that the accords are not a good thing. At a gathering to ratify the accords, a bomb is detonated outside the embassy, apparently placed by Bucky Barnes. Taking down Barnes becomes top priority, and being his childhood friend, Cap wants to be the one to do it. After finding him and being convinced he was set up, Captain American Falcon do their best to help him out. Once they are apprehended, a new villain emerges with a plan to re-brainwash Barnes and bring down an empire. Barnes escapes and Captain America joins him along with several other Avengers. The line is drawn and it's up to Iron Man and his team to bring them in. As the movie progresses, we see the once strong saviors go to battle with each other, each side thinking they are in the right. We see new recruits on both sides making each team stronger. Friendships are torn and injuries are sustained, but the real threat is still lurking in the distance. As the remaining members of the teams work together to try to stop this new threat, information is gathered that may put a permanent division between members. The non-stop action continues as we watch from the edge of our seats to see if differences can be solved or if our once mighty heroes will be the end of each other. So, like all new Marvel movies, I can say that I was eagerly anticipating this one and it's more than fair to say that I definitely was not let down. Captain America Civil War, or as it's been redubbed, The Avengers 2.5 takes all the aspects of the Marvel Universe that you love and throw them all together into one big pot of awesome. Most of our favorites return with the exception of two and the newcomers? they do more than deliver. Once again, for a film with serious overtones, there is humor lurking around every corner, and of course this humor is divided among everybody, but the majority of the hilarity is taken by a relative newcomer and a completely new face to the Avengers altogether. Paul Rudd reprising his role as Ant-Man is fantastic and is absolutely hilarious the whole time he is on screen. When I heard that they were remaking Spider-Man yet again, I literally groaned out loud. But seeing this new, younger Spider-Man, he absolutely steals the show, and now I can't wait for his single film to be released. I have absolutely nothing dissatisfying to say about this movie, and in fact, the battle at the airport between the two teams is worth the price of admission in and of itself. The only thing becoming tough about these movies is you almost have to rewatch every other previous Marvel movie to catch all the details that are in the new ones. But you know what? That might be a challenge that I'm up to. If you're one of the select few Marvel fans that haven't seen this yet, go ahead, go now. Stop watching me and go see it. This has been your Monday Movie Musing. Back to you. All right. Well, Matt gives it two thumbs up. Thanks, Matt. We'll keep it here. We have one last look at your seven-day outlook live from Maine and Gervais.